Oh, this is one of those nights where a lot of Houstonians enjoyed a couple of beers at a bar. And while your attention was probably focused on the Super Bowl game, Channel 2 Investigates is focusing on the drinks. We're putting draft beer to the test, revealing high levels of bacteria in some of your favorite brews. Investigator Jace Larson is joining us live in the Washington corridor right now with the results of his testing. Jace. Hey guys, you know, we know that the health department regulates all things when it comes to food, but we've learned that there's nobody regulating draft beer lines. These are a couple examples here. It's what your beer flows through before it ends up in your glass, and look at how dirty some of them are. Fellow beer drinkers, meet Izzy and Cameron. So we work together. We get a lot of happy hours. Co-workers and beer lovers. When I drink beer, I drink beer. I'll drink anything, okay? I'm a fish. When swimming from bar to bar, Cameron is armed with some age-old family advice. They believe that draft gives them a hangover, whereas bottle doesn't. John Torrentino believes that. These are all photos he's taken of dirty draft lines at Houston area bars. His company cleans draft systems. So when you go and buy that $8 craft beer, that's what it's going through. To see if Houston area bars were doing their part, we set out on one of our more memorable undercover assignments. We collected 15 draft beer samples from bars around Houston. A lab then tested the samples for lactobacillus, the same type of bacteria that you'd find in yogurt. But it's something our brewers say should not be in the beers we tested. Here are our results. Most bars had low levels, fewer than 10 colonies of bacteria. But a Bud Light draft from Einstein's Pub in Katy had the highest count of bacteria in our test. We found 16,000 colonies of bacteria. We retested the beer a week later and got similar results. The Carbach mother and lager at the Flying Saucer in Sugarland had about 1,500 colonies of lactobacillus. Again, in a retest, there were high levels. At Hay Merchant in Montrose, we found 1,500 colonies in a St. Arnold lawnmower. But the retest here showed extremely low amounts. There's multiple opportunities for the beer to become contaminated with foreign bacteria. Without being able to eliminate all those variables, it's really hard to make a determination as to where a beer might have gotten contamination. The hay merchant's owner says the line for the beer where we found bacteria was cleaned last week. The Katy and Sugarland bars tell us they rely on their distributors to clean their lines. Though both locations tell us Silver Eagle Distributors was out cleaning their lines after we called. Typically you want to be cleaning draft lines every week to two weeks at the most. You're not dealing with a dangerous issue here. You're dealing with a, a quality issue. At St. Arnold Brewery, they say draft line bacteria won't make you sick, but it could make the beer taste terrible. A lot of sourness in a beer that shouldn't be sour, uh, or if you get a strong buttery or butterscotch flavor. St. Arnold employs a lab manager with a PhD in biology, all to make sure there's no bad bacteria in their beers. Across town at Carbach Brewery, they also test every batch. They have to taste great. As for the theory that dirty draft lines cause hangovers, well, not everyone is so sure that that's really true. If you have a hangover, it probably has to do with how much beer or whatever else you were drinking that night. I drink so much beer, there's no way to isolate what bacteria I was drinking that night. Well, the next time you're out, if you get a beer and it just doesn't taste right, you can send it back. You might also ask your bartender when the last time they cleaned the lines at that establishment. We're live along Washington Corridor. Jace Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jace. Uh, Silver Eagle distributors would not respond directly to the results found at the Katy and the Sugarland bars. But the company says in a statement, a large number of variables can affect testing results, including management of the sample, equipment used, and how it's calibrated and the testing method, end quote. We've posted the company's full statement on click2houston.com.